Thomas J. Lopresti drops a new sketchbook from 1969, Algonquin, Maine. We are on Zest Bloom. We are loading up the collection on here. We are showing you in real time how to mint an NFT on Zest Bloom. Pretty easy, just like the other platforms. This one is a little bit different, but as you can see here, you need to be organized, have the files you want to upload, what you want to call it, the name, etc. And of course, your My Algo wallet uploading the first part of the sketchbook, which is the coveted sketchbook cover from Algonquin, Maine, year, folks, 1969. These will go for 50 Algo on the Zest Bloom platform listing it right there got to make sure you make it private or public depending upon if you want people to see it right away but um, i'm going to make all of these public let's do another one main page create an asset put your name in there tlop sketchbook one 1969 because we do have multiple sketchbooks so i need to distinguish between them and there we go. There are my files. Nice in order. This is sketchbook one. Beautiful marginal way. That's what they call this photo. It's a spot in Algonquin. Listing it here, 50 algo. You can see we get 46. That's the fee that you need to pay for Zestplum and their services. There we go. It takes a few seconds for it to process through and upload. Once it's there, bada bing, bada boom. Now you see them all coming in. You can kind of forward in on it and zoom in. And there are the waves crashing upon the rock with the birds, marginal way. So we're gonna speed up now and just kind of keep going through this. This is again, documenting his journey. If I could do it, you could do it. Pretty easy peasy, 25 pieces in this collection, going super fast here. Uh, but again, tips, have all of your photos in a folder, organized or files rather, have the names, make sure you put them in correctly. Um, if you do not put them in correctly, they're minted wrong, you can always burn them as well. Um, but if you are organized, it's easy for you to get your collection up and going rather quickly. So that's the exciting part, folks. We are minting at record pace, one by one by one. Pretty exciting. It's exciting when you mint your first NFTs and you get to get pretty intimate with your collection, knowing the ins and outs of the art. Pretty beautiful. Obviously, these are sketchbooks. They had to be scanned into the files that we have here. And now we are minting them on the blockchain forever. This, this one is of Kenny Bunkport, Maine. We just keep kind of going, progressing. This one is uh, a view off of the art museum in Algonquin. We just kind of keep going, folks faster and faster this one is sailing into the perkins cove in maine pretty pretty cool the next one is sailing out of perkins cove pretty cool i mean i just love the the sketches the, the work that goes into it there's a, a fellow artist that tom painted um, we're going to look at uh, the art museum is coming up next that one now is posted. I believe the next one will be of a sketch of my grandmother, Nana Audrey, on the beach. Uh, possibly my father is uh, in front of her laying there, as you see, quick. So pretty, pretty exciting. Um, you know, Algonquin is a, a nice place that my grandfather and their family went to pretty regularly to create their art. So again, easy peasy. Look at the collection growing there. Name, description. There you go.
more of Algonquin Beach. And we just keep continuing down our files, getting them all in there. Some kids playing in the water, pulling in them on a boat. Pretty cool. Now we have some sand dunes coming up. Pretty cool. The sketches, the work. I mean, it's just amazing how we brought these places to life with a pen. Some more sand dunes in Algonquin. This is, I believe, the entrance. It's the gateway to Algonquin Beach. There you see the gate. Pretty Pretty amazing art. I really do appreciate that I'm able to go through this collection with you. I'm gonna keep keep going. There is a, the lighthouse, the Hubble Lighthouse. So just again, easy to do it. If you have any questions on minting on Zest Bloom, please let me know. I'm in the Gander app now. This is how I create the cover sheets. Just uploaded all the files there. Got to arrange them uh, in the best way that I can utilizing this application. And then I will also mint this one as well. These are fun. Um, if these are put on a wall uh, behind a couch, you kind of you have a lot of different images that you can see there, the different contrast with the different colors of the different pieces of paper as they aged over time. Just very authentic, very pure, very vintage but that's a good way to create, again, um, a contact sheet, a photo sheet of all of the pieces in a particular collection. And again, staying organized, just renaming it like the other file names, and then I'm going to move it to the correct file. So I have it organized. Organization is definitely key for minting NFTs. You don't want to mint them twice <laughs> defeats the whole purpose um, you want to be organized so uh, that's that's what I am doing there all right finally getting that in place and now minting the last nft in this 1969 tom j low presti collection so now moving to canva this is where i make my art for my collections the drops the videos that i do i find it very easy to use. Michael Rahner uh, brought it to my attention. Uh, there is a free version and a paid version, but pretty easy to use. There is a collection now on Zestplume. This is a link that I can send to people on Twitter. They'll be able to see these and they will be able to purchase them as well. So there it is. Professional looking, beautiful looking on the Zestplume site. Thank you Zestplume for making this possible really excited about it go check out the collection please love like share this video if there are other folks people that do want to create nfts and learn about it please send them my way send them to the channel that is a part of what we're trying to do is trying to help educate promote nfts so love you guys and until next time out